you are watching So Mungry's Soundwave Sunday. Operation Question and Answer Initiate. Booyah! Hello Autobots and Decepticons, my name is So Mungry and I'd like to welcome you guys to another Soundwave Sunday! The episodes where you ask the questions and I answer them. So let's get this started. Oh, a quick little note. I wanted to tell you guys about the armor set series. I think it'd be very cool if I started doing customs as soon as I get done with the already pre-made characters. So please recommend a pre-made character and then when I'm finished with all the ones that they already have in the armor set, I'll start up a new series like the custom armor set series or something like that. It wouldn't really be the armor set, it'd just be like the custom series, so we'll do that as well. So let's get this started with the questions. The first question comes from the Omega Prime 1. Hey Mungri, are you gonna play Family Guy Multiverse? Also, do you have younger brothers or sisters? And I do not have any younger brothers or sisters, I have older brothers and sisters. I have three older brothers and three older sisters, and they're half brothers and half sisters. And I was actually planning on getting that Family Guy game, but it kept getting pushed back and back and back, and it ended up just coming out. So I'm just going to pass on that for now because I just got the Wii U and I'm loving it there. I don't know why I just said there, but I'm loving it in the Wii universe right now, the Wii U. It's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed Transformers Prime. I know it wasn't the best like graphical game in the world. It was a Wii title at first and then they moved it up, but I thought it was just a fun playthrough. And it was kind of like the Transformers Cybertron Adventures, but I still probably enjoyed Cybertron Adventures maybe a little bit more. But I thought Transformers Prime game was pretty fun to play, and we still got a lot of multiplayer that I want to touch on that as well. Next question comes from Crime Sun Host 22. Do you ever go to BotCon? Now I have never went to any conventions at all, and I would love to go to those things in the future I think that would be something that would just be fun and amazing and it'd be cool just to walk around and enjoy the convention with other people that you know share your interest so I think that would be very fun and amazing and I hope to attend some in the future next question comes from EM guy one I am on the fence about getting a Wii U is it worth the purchase price if so what games do you recommend I definitely recommend Mario. I'm having a blast with that. I'm looking forward to bringing you guys more videos on that and a full playthrough. And also, if you don't see necessarily a title that you like right now, I heard there's going to be 50 new titles from now to February being released. So that is a ton of games. And I'm a Nintendo fanboy at heart, so I would say go ahead and buy that Wii U. But maybe if Nintendo's not your style, maybe you can hold off on that. But I love playing Nintendo games in HD finally. It is just awesome because I just love the fun and exciting, happy-go-lucky gameplay that Nintendo offers. Next question comes from Skatelines1. Sup, Mungry? Do you think Transformers get dizzy from all the spinning when they change form? No, I'm not sure how that works exactly. That would be kind of weird. It'd be kind of like a head rush when you get up really fast when you're laying down and be like, whoa! But I guess us humans do not know because we don't transform into anything. But I don't think they would get dizzy. It's got to be in their mechanics. It would be kind of just like a crazy like burst like off the track as uh, like if you were to be in a race right away off the bat and then you kind of just slow down and you see everything how you are in whatever mode you're in so if that I don't know if that makes sense at all but I don't think they get dizzy next question comes from red ghost 7 hey Mungry, do you think it's too late to get war for Cybertron and how many cows can you fit in a cow pie that is a good question how many can fit in a cow pie I would say zero because cow pies are kind of small I don't recommend tasting them ever but if you were to fit a cow in there I would say maybe one and that would be one huge cow pie, at least 15 Curex. No, I'm kidding, but let's see. War for Cybertron, it's older. It doesn't have as many people in the multiplayer, but it is still one of the greatest Transformers games of all time, in my opinion. I think it's worth getting to at least experience the campaign. If you have a friend, make him get the game with you, play through the campaign, experience Escalation, it's definitely worth it. Next question comes from Alidgrate. Hey Mungry, do you think High Moon Studios is going to put back the old colors? Soundwave Sunday! And no, 
I think Fall of Cybertron is pretty much done with being updated from High Moon Studios. They kind of just put in DLCs to make money and then they ran. They didn't really make too many updates. I know they just updated the Gear Shredder, but I really wouldn't expect too many other new updates or anything from High Moon Studios. And I don't know if that's because of Activision or because of High Moon Studios at all, but I'm pretty sad because Fall of Cybertron, it just didn't have that lasting appeal. We wanted multiple Prime modes, we wanted more game modes, we wanted a lot of new stuff to do in it, and we just didn't get it for multiplayer. Don't get me wrong, the campaign was really fun and exciting, but multiplayer is where you get the replay value, and we just didn't get it with Fall of Cybertron. Next question comes from Skizlep. Another awesome Soundwave Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> He's got a little Insecticon in him, and I'm sorry if I messed up your name. The first question is, do you like, or do you get into pro sports? If you do, what sport and who do you root for? And I do get into professional football, and I'm a huge Green Bay Packer fan. And the next question is, any advice for the youth to embrace their inner nerd? Nerd used in the most positive way. And now, the inner youth, the young, younger crowd, I should say, not necessarily the young at heart, has a tough time sometimes whether it be getting picked on at school or just kind of revealing your interests in a more I guess nerd based uh, aspect of your life and that's a shame but I will tell you it gets better over time and when you're younger times can be tough and it can feel like the whole world is against you at points especially if you are getting picked on for liking the stuff that you like but trust me as time goes on you learn to hang out with people that have similar interests with you and you begin to understand that just because somebody else likes something that you do not that's fine you know it doesn't matter you have to go on doing what makes you happy and believe me I know it can be tough if you want to hang out with somebody that maybe doesn't have the same interests or you want to fit in with a different crowd but believe me it does get better over time and I guess I can give two bits of advice just be yourself Treat others the way you want to be treated because at the end of the day, you have to live with yourself. And those people that make fun of other people for other things have to live with themselves as well. And I don't know if that was how the question was intended to be answered, but I definitely recommend hanging out with people that share similar interests. Next question comes from Jace Ellington. Hey Mungry, are you going to get Guardians of Middle Earth? Yes, I am. It's an Xbox or a PS3 arcade exclusive. I read about it in the Game Informer. I'm super excited for it. It's a Lord of the Rings based MOBA where it's kind of similar to Smite or Awesome Knots or League of Legends if you're into that style of game. And I'm very excited for that. That comes out next month. So expect some gameplay from that on my channel. Maybe I'll have uh, Mr. Trigger Hands and the Turtle of Doom join me in some of those videos, so that should be pretty fun. Next question comes from Radlight. Hello, Mungry. I heard you really love shrimp, but don't you get sick of it, or have you ever gotten sick of it? Great vids, man. Keep up the great work. Thanks, man. And shrimp is awesome. Red Lobster, my personal record, 88 shrimp on the Endless Shrimp. I could have ate more, but everybody wanted to leave, so I left. But I have never gotten sick of it. I have tried by overeating it, and I cannot get sick of it. I just love it so much. Next question comes from Sideswipe Animations. Hey, Mungry, whatever happened to your stop motions? Did you sell the figures for cats? And no, I did not. I actually am allergic to cats, so I couldn't. And I am known to take in a stray cat or two every once in a while if they need a home. But my stop motions, I haven't done one for a long time because they take a long time to make. And I'm really involved in playing video games right now and putting those videos out. Maybe I'll do a stop motion or two in the future. And I really enjoyed making the last couple. I did uh, Transformers Prime Fall of Cybertron one. And I also did a Transformers McDonald's one, which was pretty funny as well. Next question comes from Christian Hendricks. Hey, Mungry, do you know what's going on with Twinkies? I don't want them to be gone. And they're expensive on the internet, like 50 bucks a box. What's up with that? P.S. Do you watch The Walking Dead? No, I do not. I've heard good things, so I don't know if I should watch that or not. And I don't know what's up with Twinkies. Are we expecting a zombie apocalypse here? Because I know they last for like 50 years or something. And I don't know if I could live on Twinkies overall if I were a survivor in the apocalypse. I may just take the plunge into the zombies if that were the case. Well, probably not. But maybe I could... 
I don't know. I would have to roast tw Twinkies. I would have to stuff them with something else. I don't know. I would get very sick of Twinkies after a while. Next question comes from Danny Vo. Hey, Mungry, two questions. What's your favorite bird, and do you like tacos? If so, go tacos. And wait, what is your fear? And my favorite bird. Hmm. That is a tough one. I would have to say... Oh, man. I... Is a penguin a bird? I don't think a penguin's a bird. It's something else. It's got to be. It looks like a bird. It walks like a bird. Wait, it must be a bird. And actually, you know what? My favorite bird is a chicken. And mostly with ranch because I love my chicken with ranch. And, of course, I love tacos. I like chicken tacos as well. And my fear. I guess my fear is to be in a situation where I become helpless because that is the worst situation you can ever be in. Next question comes from Hypersonic Force. Mungri, who do you like better, Mario or Sonic? And who do you think can win on a fight? I love Sonic. Sonic Adventure was the first game I've played, and I was four, four then? Now I'm 13, and I still love Sonic. And they're both very cool. I grew up with a Super Nintendo, but my neighbor had a Sega Genesis, so I played them both. I like Mario games a lot better. But I'm not sure who would win in a fight. Mario has all these different items that he can pick up to make himself better. But Sonic just has pure speed and power. So I maybe give the slight edge to Sonic. Next question comes from Mega Star Screamer. Dear Mungry, what is your idea of a perfect day? P.S. You're awesome and Soundwave Sunday. And thanks, brah. I appreciate it. And my idea of a perfect day. That is really tough. I've never really had to describe a perfect day before. I think a perfect day, everything would have to come together. Your luck would be on your side. The weather would be just warm and the sun would be just shining down on you. You would have to be surrounded by great friends, great food, great games, and great company. And it would just be one of those days that you just don't stop laughing. Next question comes from Orion Downey. Hey Mungry, what is your favorite song? Now I have a lot of favorite songs, but the one that kind of comes to mind right now is Jimi Hendrix, All Along the Watchtower. I love that song, and I love Hendrix. Alright, last question comes from Prime1327. Will you be playing Transformers Universe with me? Subs slash viewers. And I think I can probably play with a lot of people because it's an MMO. And I'm not really used to playing MMOs, but I think it's kind of like an open world where people can kind of just join in at all times. So I'm sure I'll be playing with quite a bit of people, and that should be pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Soundwave Sunday. Please remember to leave your questions in the comments below, and have a great Sunday, everyone.